The architecture of the ITIL core is based on a service life cycle. Each volume of the core is represented in the service life cycle. A service life cycle starts with service strategy. This is the time when what services an IT organization should provide to be competitive in the market is decided. So in this phase, questions like what service to provide, why will someone pay for our services, are decided. The next stage in service life cycle is service design, wherein specific design-related decisions are made. For example, we are looking to provide services to which user base. Will our service be 24-7? Or will it be provided only during a certain time period, etc. are decided during this phase. Once all service design-related decisions are taken up, the next stage in the service life cycle is service transition. This is the stage of actually rolling out the service to the users so that service becomes available to its target user base. The next stage in the service life cycle is service operation. So once users start accessing the service and if they encounter any problem, service operation takes care resolving their problems. In other words, aim of service operation is making sure that service runs uninterrupted. The continual service improvement is the process of continuously looking at the service and making sure that service quality or service effectiveness and efficiency is continuously improving. This is done by collecting lots of data about how service is functioning over a period of time. This is an ongoing process throughout the life cycle of a service. Now tell me, who would be responsible for CSI or continuous service improvement of a service? If you did answer service owner, you're absolutely right. If your answer is wrong, go back and look at the roles and responsibilities of the service owner. Now, let's look at the graphic on the side. It illustrates the service lifecycle components, which are nothing but the constituent processes and functions. Vertical boxes in the dark shades represent the different processes in that particular life cycle. For example, in service strategy life cycle phase, we have strategy generation, demand management. The light shaded boxes in service operations represent functions in that life cycle. Do not panic with so many new terms here again. We will learn about them as we progress in this course.